What is up and what is popping YouTube? You already know your girl is back with another voiceover. I'm so excited to be showing y'all my shower routine for 2021 because y'all be gonna get into the feminine hygiene. First of all, we need to strip all that dirt away with a pure Castile soap. Y'all know I love my Dr. Broners. I'm not too fond of this scent, but it does what it needs to do on the cleaning aspect. So of course we gotta scrub our whole body down with a rag, make sure we're getting all the cracks and crevices, all that type of stuff. So basically just cleansing yourself, but you need a nice and strong cleanser. So I love this pure Castile soap to start off my routine. Hopping straight into our next product, we are going in with my Tree Hut Vitamin C Exfoliator. This is a great exfoliator in my opinion. It is a bit on the harsher side, but I love it to really remove a lot of my dead skin. I exfoliate two to three times a week, so this was my exfoliating day. I'm also exfoliating my hands. It is so important to exfoliate your hands because having soft hands is a flex. But let me just say, if you needed some motivation to get up and show yourself some love, here it is. Having a shower is like a reset for me so I just need to tell you girl get up if you haven't in a while and show yourself some love in the shower because I promise you you're gonna feel so much better now y'all already know how I get with Dove so basically my whole logic behind my routine is first I strip away any dirt with my Dr. Broners I then exfoliate and remove dead skin with my tree hut and then I restore that moisture back into my skin with my Dove y'all I feel like Dove original scent is undefeated. I've tried so many shower products, so many soaps, and I just love Dove for a nice, moisturized, smell good, look good soap. Like, it's just bomb. So we're going ahead scrubbing down my whole body again. But remind yourself that we are not putting any products in our Punani area at all. I'm going to show you what feminine hygiene products I use in a second. But before, we have to shave. Going in with my EOS Shea Butter Moisture, or is it EOS? I don't know, girl, it's just, it smells good and it works. And then I'm going in with my Venus Razor and giving myself a nice shave. I start with my thigh, and I don't know if that's weird, but it's just what I do. Giving myself a nice shave and yeah, I'm gonna feel real soft, look real soft, be real soft, real cute, real cute. I personally like to take showers at night just because I feel like it is the true reset to a long stressful day. Think about it, you're washing away all the worries of the day, washing away all the stress. So showers are so important, girl. I know we all feel so much better when we're clean and in bed. So if you need to, girl, go and get in that shower. It's okay if you're a little, a little stank right now, but you can be smelling good and looking good if you hop in that shower. So I know, boo, it's a lot, but you got this. Get in the shower and show yourself some love. Okay, Miss Girl, it is time to get into my favorite part of my shower, which is going to be my Punani hygiene, aka my Yoni hygiene. Shout out Lisa. Shout out Lisa Cosmetics. 
When I say I've been waiting on this restock, child, I mean timers have been ticking. So we have the Forbidden Fruit Soap, the Sweet Kitty Soap, and I'm so excited just to talk about it a little bit. This is packed with aloe vera and other plant-based components that help to maintain a healthy vaginal pH. It also contains antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral components. So your yoni is going to be balanced and on point at all times. I also have been obsessed with the Sweet Not Salty Exfoliate exfoliator as a girl who gets waxes it is essential to exfoliate my yoni at least two times a week so having a product that is natural and does not irritate my yoni child please i absolutely have been obsessed with this exfoliator it has kept me nice and soft it's kept me from getting ingrown hairs i mean everything girl lisa always does it with her products and <laughs> girl you have to tap into her next restock which is coming soon i'll have all of this stuff linked down below so it's very easy for you to shop and browse through her website she is an amazing business owner just talking about her personally she works so hard and i'm so proud of her y'all so you have to check out her line i absolutely love the soap i'm using the forbidden fruit one currently and i have been in love with it it really has helped me to maintain amazing ph balance and just keeping everything fresh never funky you feel me we do not want to be funky around here keeping it fresh keeping it clean i absolutely love liza and what she's doing so make sure to check her out on instagram as well and do not miss her november restock as she sells out so quick now out of the shower i apply my yoni oil this is great to keep your yoni hydrated to keep it from being irritated from say you got waxes or if you shave it's just bomb in general now this is something i do out of the shower but i still wanted to pop in and show you guys it all right y'all so the last product i'm using is this olay soap it is highly fragranced which is why i apply it last because you want that smell to stick on you all day now if you were to put it on in the beginning of your shower it might wear off by the time you get out i don't know about y'all but i take pretty long showers so i just make sure to always apply a fragrance soap last it makes my skin feel soft smell good look good all of that we've only got one more product left which is going to be my face soap so let's get into it So I'm going ahead and wrapping up my shower routine with this Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Now, is this real African Black Soap? I have no idea, it's probably not, but it makes my skin look bomb and that's all I care about. So I'm just going ahead and washing my face, making sure I bring that soap down to my neck and my chest as well. Y'all, that is going to wrap up this shower routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for the love and support. Make sure to tune into my other videos and I'll see you next time. Mwah. What is up and what is